Hi there, welcome to chandu.org. In this video, we're going to talk about an interesting problem called as sporadic tolerance. Before we jump into the Excel and understand this very very simple but effective way to calculate sporadic totals, let me first tell you a short story. Okay, few days ago, sometime in the last week, I got a call from one of my readers in United Kingdom. He sounded uh, somewhat weary and really disturbed. And uh, when I asked him how I can help him, he said. His friend's job was on the line because uh, you know he had this huge Excel problem staring at him, and uh, and if he didn't finish it in time, then he would probably be put in a very awkward situation and maybe fired or something like that. Sounding very concerned, I asked him, "So, how? What is the problem, and what can we do here?" So he explained that uh, they were dealing with uh, some sort of a data where they had thousands of rows of numbers and uh, these numbers are to be summed up and submitted for some sort of a contract or something like that uh, and these these numbers are there in a in, in, in a column presumably thousands of numbers but the the real challenge is after every few numbers there are some blank rows and we need to calculate and print the total after every few numbers now it's not for every 5 rows or 10 rows, in which case the formula would be very very simple. It could be like uh, there would be 7 numbers and we need a, a blank blank cell where the total need to go and then there can be 8 numbers, a blank cell where the total need to go. There can be 25 numbers and then 5 numbers and 3 numbers and 6 numbers like that. So it's, it's just a random jumble of numbers with arbitrary blank cells. Hence the name sporadic totals. So I helped him out by giving some suggestions as to how it can be calculated very easily. And then I asked him to give me a call back after a day when the problem is solved so that he could narrate his story and I could probably feature that as a case study on the blog. But I never heard back from him. I assume the problem is solved and they're still happy. Anyway, Fast forward a couple of days, I see these, uh, I see two videos on YouTube, one on Mr. Excel's channel and one on my good friend um, <coughs> Kevin's channel. And uh, I was really surprised because it's a coincidence, right? They were also talking about sporadic totals. It is altogether possible that my blog reader from United Kingdom also reached out to those people in distress and and that prompted them to write those videos or uh, it could just be a weird coincidence after all so the sporadic totals although it sounds sporadic it was more of an accidental totals in this case because uh, three different very very useful youtube channels all featured these things the one on mr excel used a vba macro to calculate sporadic totals and then the one on Kevin's channel used formulas. So I'm going to show you one more way just because that's how awesome we are, right? I want you to uh, understand different ways to do things and then probably pick the one that is easy and saves you time. And I personally believe that this option of calculating sporadic totals is the easiest of all. So I'm going to jump into the Excel without further ado and let's just uh, view the sporadic totals example. So what I have here is uh, some sample fictional data. We have, uh, we have a column of numbers. After every few numbers, there is a blank row where the total needs to go. Okay, And uh, sometimes there could be one blank row, sometimes there could be a couple of blank rows, sometimes there could be three or four blank rows. Okay, So what we have to do is print the total at the bottom most blank sum. Okay, that, that one. Now we leave those things empty and then print the blank total there. Okay. If you have to write formulas, then what you would do is you would write sum and then select all of these, enter, uh, select all of this and enter. 
and you get the sum for that but then again you cannot copy paste the formula here because the reference is not going to work very well here we would expect the total to be 82 but if I copy paste that formula I'm going to get something else altogether I'm going to get 423 or something because this reference is like that and I have to edit it and if we have only uh, in, in the example case we have only 200 rows of data if you have only 200 rows then doing this is not a problem but if you have thousands of rows of data like my my friend in UK has then we have a problem we won't be able to do this very efficiently that's where the second approach that I'm going to show you comes into picture so the very first thing that you need to do is uh, select all these numbers go to the top one and then go to the bottom one hold the shift key and select all the numbers right all the numbers are selected then press F5 function key F5 this opens up the go to box and click special you could go to you could press F5 and special or you could use the home ribbon and then navigate to those things directly from the menu either way it's fine so let's go to special now what we will do is we'll just select all the numbers we will omit the blank cells we'll just select the numbers this can be done by saying select the constants when you say constants Excel will only select the numbers it will omit the blank cells okay click OK what happens is you would see that these these individual chunks of numbers are selected I'm going to zoom down a little bit so you can see that only the only the chunks of numbers are selected right the next thing is very very simple go to home ribbon and click on auto sum that's it instantly all the numbers all the individual chunks will be totaled and Excel will write the sum formulas for you it will automatically sum you could average you could count you could sum uh, you can do some of these standard things so auto sum is done and now we need to identify which cells are formula so that we could format them differently and maybe make the totals stand apart so to do that while keeping the selection still on let's press f5 once again this time go to special and instead of selecting constant let us select formulas so now we are asking Excel hey just select only the cells that contain the formulas and click OK now all the formula cells are selected these are the cells where the auto sum formula is inserted and let's just fill this up with some sort of a bright yellow color or something that visually stands apart make the cells bold and if you prefer maybe even add a, a double light border or something which is you know, standard accounting convention right uh, I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave this there so now you could see all these totals added the sporadic totals but with just a click of uh, a couple of clicks of mouse and we don't have to write any formulas or macros or anything and we get the totals right so this is one of the very very simple ways to get sporadic totals and the beauty of this is it just simply uses the functions that are existing in Excel auto sum and go to special two of my uh, well go to special is really one of my favorite uh, functionalities in Excel so go ahead and enjoy this uh, this little trick and uh, hopefully you like the sporadic totals and hopefully you like the story as well that I told in the beginning and if you like uh, learning Excel and if you want to become awesome in your day-to-day -day work then go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel or uh, or join our blog by visiting chandu.org slash wp slash subscribe okay so i'll see you around some other time have a good day ahead bye bye